What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my beautiful Leo Zodiac signs. This is your weekly check-in. Let me make sure it's recording. Okay, it is. I'm sorry guys, like there's this cord that's in the way with the microphone and I can't see the time so I have to make sure it's recording or else I'll be sitting here talking for no reason. So we are going to do your weekly check-in for you guys. So just remember, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross. If you need to, please flip them. All right, we're going to start off with the Psychic Tarot deck. So clarify the overall energy for Leo. What is going on with Leo this week? Ooh, material and spiritual prosperity. This is like the Six of Wands energy. You know, that victory, that success. It's normally the, the little dude that's on the um, the horse and he's like riding through. You know what I'm saying? He has all the wands beside him and they're like, yeah, you know, praising him. That's the energy. And then we have number three, recognition and reward. This is like the Three of Wands energy. Okay, so you guys could be receiving some type of reward for reward for your success for this could be like a promotion okay this could be um a job well done you know like you went out there you did some extra work and they're like yeah you know good job here's a reward for doing exactly what you were doing yada 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 blah 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 okay this could you be getting um beginning to get noticed as well if you're like an entrepreneur and you've been working hard you've been putting in the work you know what i'm saying you're starting to get noticed people are starting to know who you are they're starting to find your brand they're starting to find you on youtube starting to find you on etsy whatever it is that you're doing okay your website you know word of mouth <laughs> Okay, let's see here. We are going to clarify with the um, old trusty dusty here, which is my first deck of cards that I ever bought, which is the Rider Weight deck. So let's see, clarify the energy. Yes, of my Leo Zodiac signs, please. What is going on with Leo for this week? I like that. We have the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. What else is going on with Leo? The Knight of Wands, all right, talk to me. And the Five of Wands, all right. Bottom energy is the Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords. Aries actually got this exact same energy as the underlying energy, which is crazy. Okay. So this could be like some spiritual warfare going on in the fire sign. But we'll see. I got one more fire sign to go after this. Okay. So the Ten of Swords being here, this lets me know. And then the Two of Cups is underneath that. So this is your connection to your higher self. So the Ten of Swords is letting me know that there's been a lot of difficulties, a lot of struggles, a lot of hard times, okay? A lot of, they said shortcomings. I don't even talk like that. Who says that? They said shortcomings, okay? <laughs> hey, that's what they gave me, all right? There's been a lot of shortcomings and, and, and situations where, you know, maybe some things fell through. They didn't go the way that you were expecting, okay? This could have been business ideas, business plans, you know, maybe promotions, opportunities, jobs, um, that you might have applied for. Um, okay, the the six material and spiritual prosperity. What happens when you get this energy is letting you know again that you're about to receive your recognition. Okay, for the things that you've been putting in work for, whether it's your entrepreneur success, people starting to recognize you, or whether it's like a job promotion or a new opportunity, someone reaching out, hey, you know, I'm interested in uh, you working for the company. I heard that you were a good worker, a good employee, yada, yada, yada. Blage, blage, all right? Uh, some of you could be, again, getting some type of um, management position or something like that here. I feel like it is something that you've been waiting on because it is kind of the uh, three of wands energy. So it could be something that you've been waiting on, that you've been uh, waiting for the, uh, your ships to ride in or your success to happen or your that career to take off or that uh, business to take off. Now, I do see this Eight of Swords energy, okay? So this does tell me that you are in a little bit of a, a pickle, okay? Like mental conflict, okay? And I feel like this is more of the energy of you... Um, because I feel like this may be going on in the back end or like on in the background and you may not see it. So you're kind of in this mental conflict where you're like uh, fighting yourself, where you're um, just in your head, overthinking, you know, overanalyzing, you know, over uh, like, you know how as kids, you know, when you would do something good, the teacher would say, good job give yourself a pat on the back you know for even the smallest stepping stones I feel as though with this eight of swords energy I'm getting the energy of uh, not giving yourself that pat on the back like you're not acknowledging the small stepping stones you're just kind of looking at 
the big stepping stones you know what i'm saying and a lot of times what happens is if we don't congratulate ourselves even on the smallest successes that we have um th those bigger successes seem so much further away and we get a little discouraged or we get a little in our head where we're um beating ourselves up thank you thank you that's the word that's the phrase i was looking for where you're kind of like beating yourself up here so don't do that okay things are going to be okay because i see the ten of pentacles all right and the ten of pentacles represents generational wealth a Abundance, stability, that firm foundation that you want to build for a family. Okay, this is, can represent a home, you know, building a home as well. Uh, uh, building that stability where you have that fallback plan, that fall through plan as well here. Um, so this could also be a large sum of money coming in because, you know, the Ten of Pentacles does represent, you know, um, with the scales being in here, it means like karmic cycles coming into play. So this could be your karma that you're supposed to uh, receive a large sum of money or a large donation of cash or something like that. But I do see money coming in. Okay, this is success money. This is accomplishments here with this Ten of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands energy is here. So this does let me know that there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire. When this success or when this abundance hits here, I do see you taking action. And that's action after your passions. Okay, you going after things. Things that you truly want, truly desire, um, even though there's competition, because I do see the five of wands here. So there is a little conflict or competition um, with whatever this is that you have going on. Now, I'm going to clarify that to see what is the knight of wands. Okay, knight of cups energy is in reverse. Okay, so your emotions may be a little um, unsteady. Wow, hmm, they just played... Um, a little unsteady and, and it goes hold hold on hold on to me i hope you i hope you guys know what song i'm talking about because that's the song that's uh playing in my head right now i haven't heard that song in a very long time that's crazy um but your emotions may be a little unsteady so what i would say okay with this uh knight of cups being in reverse here clarifying the knight of wands energy okay um maybe slow down just a little bit okay Think about, um, you know, when you when you get this money in, it's, it's one of those things like, oh, wow, yes, now I can now I can go do what I want to do. Now I can go invest in what I want to invest in or buy what I want to buy. So um, I would just say maybe uh, be cautious, pay attention to those emotions and don't um, overspend. OK, don't overspend. All right. Yeah. Temperance card is here. Uh, get your emotions in check. OK, just be patient as well um, here with this like. Um, don't take offense to this, but um, the energy that they're giving me is like, um, you know how uh, this, the phrase that, that they're, they're pulling for me that I, I, I normally go by is a person that doesn't have money, doesn't know how to, a person without money, if they don't know how to manage money, then when they get money, they still won't know how to manage it. So when you get this large sum of cash, um, it's great to invest. It's great to um, spend on a few things, but make sure you're keeping in check what you're spending and how much you're spending, okay? Make sure you're not overspending and like going on this um, lavish spending spree is what I'm just getting for you, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting for you, okay? Like your emotions are just you, you know, it's like a kid, you buy them some candy and you're like, hey, don't eat the whole bag but you can have some and then they actually try to eat the whole bag and then they end up sick okay that's kind of the energy i'm getting all right let's say clarify the five of wands yes uh-huh king of pentacles is coming out for you to clarify the five of wands so there is some competition all right um so whatever this is i do see you fighting for this fighting for your stability this here is your first step whatever this this money that's coming in the stability that's coming in make sure you do the right thing with it okay don't let um for some of you, there may be somebody that's um, emotionally unstable as well that may try to reach their hand out is what I'm getting. Let's see. Clarify this Knight of Cups for Leo. Yeah, Three of Cups. Somebody's wanting to celebrate with you or two people are wanting to celebrate with you. So there's a, some third party action. Somebody may be coming in with their hand out. And it could have a lot to do with um, 
that ten of pentacles so i would just be cautious of that because what's happening is if you're not seeing this large sum of money it's it's something that's going to give you the uh the ground foundation for whatever you're trying to build okay with this material and spiritual pr prosperity so um you're going to be very attractive whatever this is again people are going to start recognizing you and they may be um They may be trying to come in because of what you have accomplished. You, you get okay. Follow me here, Leo. They may be coming in because of what you have accomplished, Leo. So if you're looking for like a relationship, you might want to be cautious of these people coming in saying they're looking for a relationship, okay? Because they may just be coming in to you know get what they need to get, just to be like I I was with so and so. So I would just say be careful of that. Um, I do see some type of third party um, situation going on. I don't know if this is a business situation or if this may be a love quarrel or something like that. Um, just be cautious, okay, of somebody very unstable coming in with their handout. That's what I, that's what they're giving me. Hey, um, I don't feel like that's for all of you, but that's that's for somebody definitely out there. Um, let's say clarify this uh, Ten of Pentacles real quick. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. the sun card see you're about to get everything yes i love this leo everything is about to come in for you okay things are going to start falling into place sorry i'm checking the time okay things are going to start falling into place here for you leo so um hold yourself to a higher standard because again there's going to be people coming in all right yeah king of swords energy bottom of the deck okay be cautious of who you're letting in you know you're a boss now you have to be in that boss mentality that boss like energy so be cautious of the people that you're allowing in because there's a lot of um unstable people okay that um you know hey what do you have for me what i'm interested in what you have what what you gonna give me all right so i would just say that i'm just gonna leave it there okay I'm not going to get all in, <laughs> okay, because that's getting a little messy there. But we're going to leave it at that, Leo. You know what I'm saying? We're going to leave it at that. This could also be family members. You know what I'm saying? You never know family members, loved ones, friends, somebody you might not have seen in a while, and they come back with what you got for me, okay? So just be cautious of that. And it's all because of what you have going on. You're very You're already a fire sign, so you're very attractive. You're very passionate. You're very fiery. And, um... Some of you are, are, are hot in the pants, you know what I'm saying? So um, just just be cautious, all right? Don't get into a third-party situation that you can't get out of, out of all right? So see, what other messages or that somebody actually plays you in that situation? Okay, what is the energy for my beautiful Leos? What is going on with Leo? Okay. So, number 40, rediscover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship, okay? Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. See, that's the energy I was picking up on. You have this magnetic, intensified energy about you right now, and people are going to start um, attracting to that, all right? Your, your, your... Your vibration is on point. Let me put it like that. And a lot of times what happens is when your vibration is high, not only do you attract high vibrational people, but you also attract low vibrational people because they're needing what you have. And so just be cautious and be leery because they do have their hands out um, for a little bit of what you got. No matter if it's your vibration that they're needing, your energy that you're needing. Uh, what's the word? Energy vampires. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Energy vampires. Okay, so be cautious of those people. All right. 39. Back on task. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might reconsider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you're working on. All could use some fine-tuning, okay? So make sure, again, you're staying focused. Don't get distracted by um, all of these people that are wanting to celebrate and party and, and go out and do this and do that. You have a perfect time to build something here that you were once confused about, but you're very clear-minded and you know exactly what it is that you want. So pay attention because this is your time to make this happen. Things are falling into place for you, okay? And remember, you're in this boss-like energy, okay? You're going to be viewed as a boss. People are going to be seeing you as boss-like, um, seeing you as um, higher standard. So make sure you're um, holding yourself in that position. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... You know, some people, yeah, 
let's just use influencer, right? Maybe you're an influencer. Be cautious of what you're surrounding yourself around or the type of people you're surrounding yourself around. Okay, so it don't uh, mess up your brand or mess up uh, what you're trying to build, okay? Um, 42, gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be rela released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish, all right? So that's good to know, all right? So just know again be very leery and cautious of the energy that you keep around you because i do see uh very unstable energy coming in third party type um but i see your money looking good okay things are starting to shift for you things are starting to happen for you and people are starting to recognize you and um when success comes you know haters come as well and people come with what you got for me so um this is your reading leo i hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight happy birthday by the way to all the beautiful leos out there this is your season so um go have you some fun but not too much again be cautious and i will catch you guys in the next video bye guys